but he had 27 passing touchdowns and just seven interceptions that tied his fewest in a single season ever. The bad over the final two games when they really needed it. He went 0-2 with a QBR of just 13 and threw for just 166 yards per game. So there's no one here who has a horseshoe on his heart except Jeff Saturday. And we, we know how much this means to you. I, I mean, you it do, right? Like, I mean, I, absolutely. I appreciate how much you care about it. Swagoo's got the Cowboys, and, yeah, and, and you've got it. the Colts. And, and so <laughs> what do you think? They've been somewhat uncharacteristically unsupportive of him vocally yeah. sort of since that went that way. What do you think happens with Wentz here? Yeah, I think he's done in Indy. I mean, I think when you look at what happened with Wentz and the way the season ended and you hear all the things and reports coming out of Indianapolis, um, there, there's not a lot of – it does not feel like it's a, it's a hopeful situation. I would say this, though. Chris Ballard, Frank Reich, and Jim Irsay all understand – it's not just letting somebody go. It's who can you get to replace him. So if they don't feel like whoever they can get is going to be an upgrade, I think they would roll it back or run it back with Carson Wentz and try to get him better. Listen, 210 yards per game is not good enough. Not for a first and third round pick mm -hmm. who's at whatever year in the league he is and has had the performance. Like, you got to have more. And I think, there's, I think there's part of that that he didn't meet expectations. The numbers themselves are good. But in the most important games, you know, Tennessee Titans didn't play well at the end, right? So there's so many things that, take a, that go against what Wentz was trying to do. And so I would say I think he's done, but it also is predicated. I think they're watching the the, the Aaron Rodgers news mm -hmm. because that's going to be the domino that lets all the others fall, so they can find out where they really are in the sweepstakes of QB. So, so what, what's interesting to me, Marcus? I remember we talked so much about Wentz during the previous off season, and I said he there was no player that has more pressure this mm -hmm. year than Wentz does because. He got everything he could have possibly asked for in his departure from Philadelphia. If this doesn't work out, then what could possibly be next? So, Marcus, if, if indeed it didn't yeah. work out and they want to move on from him, what's next for Carson Wentz? Bouncing around, um, and, and hopefully you can try to get lightning in a bottle. This feels real Sam Bradford to me. I don't know mm. if y'all remember how Sam Bradford's career was going, but it was like all of this talent and expectation, and then it ends up faltering here the, the problem with Carson Wentz and the and I talked about it like you G talked about it before the season Phillip Rivers was a couple plays away from going to the AFC championship with the same football mm -hmm. team and they weren't as good on the ground as they were this year with Jonathan Taylor obviously mm -hmm. so Carson Wentz actually hurt this team and and that is what Chris Ballard and Ursay and obviously Frank Reich is looking at because Frank Reich pushed his chips in the middle of the table too mm -hmm. to get Carson Wentz thinking that that would elevate this football team and he did not perform well under pressure. I said it a while back, man. I, I think Carson Wentz's mind is broken, y'all. Like, we, we know, all right, we just watched this Super Bowl. We know majority of these games – when you're on a good team, are going to come down to your quarterback making plays at the end of a game. Mm. We all know that. We can look at every single game that we saw teams going to the playoffs or games that was close with high-level implications on them, whether a team would go forward or not. And it came down to their quarterback and their offense being able to push the ball downfield and make plays. Mm -hmm. None better than what we saw Matthew Stafford have to do in the Super Bowl. Carson Wentz has not delivered in those moments. That's right. And if you're a team that's Super Bowl contenders or you think you can win, he's not the guy to lead your team because you know those circumstances and situations are going to come up. It's similar to what we talk about with Jimmy Garoppolo. So, Foxy, uh, Foxy, uh, you would call him Foxy, Dominique, uh, <laughs> Make a prediction for me here. If Carson Wentz is not on the Colts this coming season, is he a week one starter somewhere in the NFL? I absolutely think he'll be a week one starter because he still has that one yeah. season that everyone is holding on to and everyone believes they can bring it out of him. I would disagree with, with Swaggle on one thing and he kind of saying that Carson Wentz is broken. I think that to Swaggu's point, he said uh, he hasn't come through in those situations. It's even worse than that. He actually he actively hurt the Colts yeah, like, in yeah. the biggest situations. Hurt and the I think Colts, that's yeah. what they're looking at, right? Yeah. They, need, they believe they have a really good roster that can win. You bring in a quarterback that either isn't going to hurt you or is going to help you more than he hurts you, right? Stafford led the league in interceptions, but he managed to win the big games right. even in spite of that. That's so right. that, that can work. But I, I do think once – look, he's got $15 million in guaranteed money coming no matter what, another seven becomes guaranteed when the league year starts, it's going to be tough to move. Right. But if you're the Colts, you have a window to win now. 
Uh-huh. I think your I think your your front office and your coaching staff are under some pressure to win now. Yeah. I, I eating 15 million dollars to get a, a quarterback upgrade that might not be a bad idea. And you see the date on your screen. We told you the date on Rodgers. The pressure point is March 8th. This one you see is just a little after that. These moves are coming fast and furious yep. in the NFL. Everything got pushed back a week by the All Super Bowl. Right. These decisions are getting made as we speak. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.